everybody, Solomon Kerman here with Black Solutions. We're back with another Black Inspirational Spotlight. Today we have a very special guest, William H. Bryant Jr. here, actor, really doing good things in the community and the rest of the field. How you doing today, man? I'm good, man. I appreciate you having me again. It's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so tell the folks, man, where you from and how was your upbringing? Uh, I'm from Bay Area, uh, California. Born in San Francisco, grew up in uh, Foster City. It's like 30 minutes south of San Francisco. And, uh, you know, went to Sarah High School, same high school as Tom Brady and Barry Bonds. Okay. I feel okay. like I got to put that plug in oh, every yeah, definitely, time. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, and then I, uh, I've i been a sportsman my whole life. I uh, played football in high school, uh, baseball, um, got a scholarship to play football okay. uh, after junior college, and uh, went to college in... Canada, actually, in Vancouver, B.C., okay. a school called Simon Fraser University. Oh. Played my last couple of years there, football, and then decided to take that plunge into, you know, the entertainment business and become an actor. So yeah. It's it crazy. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. So mm -hmm. tell everybody how you got into acting and, you know, how was that, that transition going into? Yeah, man. Uh, long story, but... Uh, they call Vancouver Hollywood North, and okay. uh, you know I had some friends up there who, you know, they were doing their acting thing up there, and you know it kind of piqued my interest a little bit. Started seeing some plays that they were in, and okay. uh, just you know um, decided I wanted to try it. I was inspired by uh, you know all these superhero films that started coming out um, around that time, actually, right when Marvel started, you know. Uh, rolling out like Iron Man and stuff and then DC was rolling out uh, Man of Steel and then I was like man that'd be that'd be super dope to be a, uh, a superhero yeah uh, let me let me try acting maybe one day you know I could be a superhero and I moved home and you know uh, my mom an angel you know she was she she was very supportive and you know was helping me and so uh, she kind of got me started too and ended up going to some auditions and booked my first, this was like one of my first auditions um, in San Francisco for a TV show called Wise with Knives. Okay. And then cool. uh, it's cool. a re little reenactment show on Investigation Discovery and then I was like, this is, this is real cool. I think I want to keep trying this. So yeah. I started taking classes and you know, the rest is history. That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So you were on the hit show Greenleaf. On the own network, yes, sir. Where you played Aaron, yes, sir. Very interesting role. Very <laughs> interesting role. Yeah. Uh, how did you get in, in touch with uh, Greenleaf and everything like that, and getting on the show? So it's a funny story, actually. Uh, I moved to LA about just a little over two years ago, okay. and you know I wanted to make sure before I moved, I had all my ducks in order, and so yeah. ended up uh, you know meeting with agencies and managers and whatnot, and. Um, I ended up signing with an agent like right before, like right as I was moving. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay, I gotta find a place. <laughs> and so ended up finding a place maybe a few days later, like after I signed with the agent. But I was still, you know, coming back and forth from uh, from the Bay. And I ended up getting an audition for Young and the Restless. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, was, so, you know, working on that. And then I flew down to LA to go to Young and the Restless. And I get a call from my agent, and they're like, um, you need to go in for this other audition. And I was like, uh, but I'm on my way to the Young and the Restless audition. Yeah. And, um, and so I was like, okay, Uber driver, I was in the Uber. I was like, Uber driver, we, I got to switch up the, the, uh, the location. We're going to this other audition. And so I went in uh, to audition for Greenleaf. And like I didn't really know, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really know what it was at the time. Yeah. Uh, so I went in, you know, did my thing. I was like, okay, um, cool. And then I ended up going to uh, later that day. I ended up going to the Young and the Restless audition. Okay. And then uh, flew back to the Bay. A couple of days later, I get a call from my agent. He's like, you're on the short list for uh, for this role for Aaron, for Aaron Jeffries on yeah. uh, Greenleaf. I'm like, what? This is my very first audition. In LA, yeah. So I was like, okay, this is a little bit crazy. I got a call later that night. They're like, you got to be on a flight to Atlanta in a couple of days. I was like, that's big. That's big. Like, this is crazy. That's cool. So that's, that's cool. Cool. 
Yeah, man, it was all it was all just a bit whirlwind. But yeah, it was cool. How's it, it cool. been working on the show? And you guys are heading in uh, to the new season. Yeah, yeah, new season coming up. Um, about to start filming. Uh, it, it's been nothing short of amazing, man. Yeah. From you know working with people that you've always looked up to, mm -hmm. to working with you know some of the most talented people on this planet. Yeah, um, it's, it's been. A learning experience, big time learning experience, being on a set like that, um, and just learning from some of the greats, and just you know, being able to uh, live out your dream. It's 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 pretty surreal. Yeah. And they're you know, they're all it's it's just the real deal. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. So you recently played Stokely Carmichael. I did. In a play. Yeah, and all the way. That's pretty big. Yeah. 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 How was that role and um, getting into character? Oh, such a good. legend. I feel like that was a role that I just really needed for myself, kind of selfishly. But it, it's also it was also a really good play with uh, with a with a good message for. It's very it was very timely because it was right around. I did it in November, and it was right around uh, uh, the elections for you know for the Senate and, yeah. and the House and all that, and. Uh, it's 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 about um, right after you know JFK was assassinated and then LBJ Lyndon B Johnson was go, he was going for the presidency over. yeah, yeah, yeah he's taking over yeah. and um, he was trying to get the civil rights bill passed and Stokely Carmichael was part of uh, part of SNCC uh, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee hmm. um, with MLK. But this is right before he became a leader for the Black Panthers, yeah. and so he was he was starting to get more charged, and he did around this time, and he was he was a bit more radical, and um, he was that that radical voice for MLK okay. when MLK was very peaceful. Yeah, he was the more radical side. He was like in between a Malcolm X and MLK, but they were very close and. It was, uh, it was, I got to be, uh, I got to, I got to let everything out. <laughs> it, yeah, was, yeah. it was, it was, it was good. It was fun. Um, amazing, amazingly talented cast, yeah. amazing director, amazing space that we performed in, in Palo Alto, back home. So that was nice. But it was, uh, it was definitely a character that, you know, that has some, some built up yeah. anger, this built up frustration, mm. which, you know, being a black man in America today, I'm sure we, we all got it. You know, yeah. We all got that down here. And um, I'm glad I was able to let it out through this character. And, you know, hopefully, you know, I touched some people and, you know, inspired some people and influenced them. So Definitely. You know, definitely. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So you're still a young actor yourself. But what advice would you give to the people who are just starting this field and trying to get into acting and make their breakthrough? Um... I guess, I guess the main thing I would say is don't let anybody hold you back because there's yeah. going to be so many voices that are negative or that or that you could think are negative or yeah. that's, that may seem negative and there's going to be so many voices out of the peanut gallery that, you know, you're going to try to tell you what to do, what not to do, but just listen to yourself and be yourself most importantly. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. That's cool. Where do you see yourself within the next few years? You know, evolving as a person, actor, and everything else. Man, uh, man. Hopefully, uh, you know. Hopefully, still going strong on, on the big screen and, mm -hmm. and inspiring people and uh, you know influencing people and just just being one of those role models. Hopefully, yeah. within the next five years, and you know, hopefully, I get to. Be that superhero I always wanted to be. Oh yeah, definitely. It's coming. You know, it's coming. Started. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. Just you know, just working with the big dogs. So. That's cool. That's cool. How can the people reach you, man? If they want to get in touch with you and see yeah. all your work. Um, on Instagram, I am at the Will Junior. T H E W I L L J R. And on Twitter, I'm at the Will Junior 100. So the same thing, but 100. So. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Will, for coming today, sharing your story. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it, my man. that. Yes, sir. I appreciate Don't forget it. to follow us, Black Solutions Media. Subscribe to everything Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. See you guys later.